About an hour and a half from Dublin's Houston station sits the relatively small but absolutely beautiful Kilkenny, Ireland. In the winter of 2024, I took a day trip from Dublin with my Uncle Chris to explore what this hidden city was all about. So if Dublin epitomizes big city Ireland, Kilkenny epitomizes not small town, but little city Ireland. It's really charming. I mean, it's just like quintessential what you would expect in small town Ireland. The old winding streets here are filled with shops, pubs, and restaurants that, while quite modern in their services, look as if they've been there forever. One particular little general store served up a salted caramel hot chocolate spiked with Baileys that tasted like heaven in a cup. Necessary indeed, because January in Kilkenny is absolutely frigid. The sidewalks are salted with ice. I should note, though, that Ireland in general is green year-round, and Kilkenny is no exception. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, it is always green in Ireland. The centerpiece of Kilkenny sits in the form of an imposing stone fortress, the Kilkenny Castle. Sprawling along an estate of rolling green hills, the Greystone Castle towers over the town and the river. Originally built in the 1100s, the castle has seen a good deal of restoration since the estate was sold for a mere 50 euros. It's a bit of a quintessential castle experience, in my opinion. Chilly stone corridors with fading tapestries, decorative sabers, varnished wooden staircases, and cavernous chambers await. But the colossal East Wing portrait gallery is really what steals the show. The wooden beamed ceiling and its wood stained murals appear to have strong Nordic influence, and the peeling red paint along the high glass windows reveals the worn stone and plaster from its medieval construction. On our particular day trip, there was really only one meal to indulge in, but let me tell you, it was the best meal I had in Ireland. At a glimmering, polished, and sophisticated old pub called The Left Bank, I was able to try a house cottage pie, which was just incredible. Parmesan potatoes, baked into an almost bread-like casing, top a delicious minced beef and sauce filled with peas and carrots. The taste was unfathomably rich. Alongside this, I sipped on a delicious Kilkenny draft, which was crisp, smooth, and just the right amount of bubbly. If you find yourself on the Emerald Isle, I would definitely recommend a day trip to Kilkenny. For the big city experience of Ireland, check out my full travel vlog on the sights, sounds, tastes, feels, and smells of Ireland's capital city, Dublin. Until next time, thanks for watching.